What was a vibrant community is now a hulking shell, devoid of life awaiting destruction at the hands of a wrecking ball. Media reports had very little good to say about Cherry Tree Crossing over the years. To outsiders, it was feared, a lawless place infected with gangs and guns nestled on the wrong side of the tracks. But there was life here, laughter and joy and a sense of community. There were children who played in the courtyards and grandmothers who sat on the stoop, teenagers who went to school every day because they aspired to something greater, and parents who steadfastly refused to let the weight of the world crush them or their capacity to love and provide for their children somehow, some way. When the brick and mortar, the asphalt and glass has long been knocked down and carted away, the stories of those who called Cherry Tree Crossing home will remain, told in their own voices. This is the Cherry Tree Listening Project. I have five children, age nine, seven, five, four, and one. When I first got here, I was scared. There was a lot of shooting. I mean, like the first week I was living here, I literally had to sleep on the floor. You know what, I'm gonna trade what's going on with me for the world because the struggle, it made me stronger and it made me a better person. I have to kind of fit. Well, I can remember when I was young, and I'm not eight now. I didn't have any children. The people were nice to me. And it wasn't, any, wasn't carrying on like it you know, is now. It was nice when I first moved here. It's been a, it's been a journey for us being on housing because this is my sixth year of being on it because I've always worked and had my own place and did for myself and stuff. But after, after kind of like after I had my son, things changed because I wasn't able to work and get to places. Right now, you do what you do because you got your kids and you don't have a job and stuff. But try not just get stuck. Don't stay. Don't stay. Don't let housing be able to predict your life. Don't let the welfare tell you you can and you can't. You got to wait when you can, especially if God gave you strength in you. Yeah.